Okay, so let's say that you found this cool little illustration online and you want to turn it into a vector scalable image. So that means an image that has vector lines that you can manipulate um, and also get rid of this white background. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that image and I'm just gonna copy this version over here so we can see this. And what we're going for is what down here. So this is a pixelated uh, small image. You can see as it gets bigger, we can start to see some pixels and gritty lines. But if we scale this one up, and I will undo this, they are vector lines, so you're seeing a lot smoother, and this can get to a big, large size. So I'll undo that. All right, so we're going to take our image over here, and in the Properties panel, you're going to look for something called Image Trace. And we can do default because this is black and white. If you have colors, you can choose these color options, and it's not going to hurt anything to try all these different options to see something that looks pretty good. So we'll click default here, and as you can see, this has turned into now a traced image. So again, we're getting those clean mathematical lines. So we're not done with this. We want to get rid of the white, but just so you know, if you click this, open the image trace panel, you can choose whether or not um, we have less or more, so we can add more detail. We can say whether or not we want high number of paths or low number. If we have more corners, which is going to smooth it out or rough it up. So you can mess with those settings. Because this has a white background, I can choose to ignore white and it's going to get rid of it. But even if you kept the white, because maybe you want white in some areas of the picture, you can get rid of it later because your final step here is now to choose expand. Once you've expanded it, it's grouped and you can come in here and then this, if you have the white background still, you could click on it and delete it or you could click and delete different points. But now if I get back out of here, this actually is made of mathematical lines so you can see all of the anchor points. So let's say I'm coming down here and I don't like this little part of the pant because it doesn't make sense in the silhouette. I can come over here and use my pen tool to choose delete anchor points and I can get rid of any anchor points and those are the little squares to kind of get rid of the weird shapes that are happening. So maybe these are weird shapes um, happening here. And if I want to manipulate the anchors, I can move them around and then I can use their handles to control what kind of curves and shapes they make. So let's say I want this one to be a little bit more curvy and here's this handle. I'm going to pull that back. So now I've edited this to look a little bit better and not have that weird bend right there. So that's an easy way to quickly um, convert a, an illustration into a vector graphic so that you can use it for things like logos or um, artwork that you want to scale to a large size, whatever the case may be.